Hello, guess what? I'm in the metro again. I've just come to Kajdusodre because I'm going to Kashgais today. So I've got the metro here and apparently there's like a rail replacement bus service on at the moment. I have no idea where to pick that up. But now I'm going to hopefully go and find out. These were not working the other night. I was not amused. <laughs> So we'd normally go there, Comboyosh trains. I'm gonna go and ask that guard over there. Okay, I had a brief chat with the security man. It's out the back here, straight through and out the right, and he says they're not fixed times, they just kind of go in regularly. I think I might be at there, look. What do we think? <laughs> Could be. I'm gonna go and ask, investigate, etc. It's just kind of waiting there at the moment. It says Servisu Occasional. Doesn't say rail replacement. <laughs> But there's some paper or something at the front. There's a guard there anyway, like, he's got a high-vis vest on, look, so we'll just go ask. Whoops. Somebody's running. I hope that doesn't mean it's about to leave. It could be. Oh, I've got a history of missing things. Now she's running. I want to run, even though it's not actually showing signs of departing. Hello, Kishkaj. Yes. Very good. Then when we get to Algeria, to follow everybody. Very good. There you go. Got a seat right at the back. Yes, it is the right one. Nice big bus. Off we go then. That was literally minutes before it started to go and there's already another bus there. About to let people on, I think. So yeah, looks like they're quite frequent. I'm actually not coming back by train. I'm getting a lift back later because I'm, oh, there's bits on the lens, because I'm meeting friends, you see, this evening. I'm not gonna film that bit. I'm gonna film what I get up to before. So of course I'm gonna go play some music in a bar again with friends. I've got all my stuff with me, my flute and all my amplification gear and all that. Blocking. But anyway, I thought what a good opportunity to just go a bit early and have a bit of a walk around and maybe get a toast or something in a cafe. I think we're here. Algiers. Al I think that's how you say that. Yeah, I've just noticed lots of people getting off the train, so I think we're going to be getting off very shortly and switch into a train. Hmm, we still seem to be going. Perhaps it's going to do a big circle and go back round. Hey, there's a seaside here, look. Idiot track. Nope, I haven't forgot anything. Good. It's follow the crowd time now. Where's my jumper? Where is my jumper? Okay, I've lost my jumper. <laughs> so I didn't get the camera on in time. It was in the door well and I heard a big hiss. I thought the doors were gonna go shut. So I was like, whoo, I just grabbed it quick. <laughs> Phew, that was a narrow escape, wasn't it? I like this jumper. It was only five euros in Spain a couple of years ago. Let's find the train. Look at all these buses, there's loads of them, to be fair. I can feel spits of rain now. I don't even see many clouds. But apparently there's been a drought. Uh, I was chatting to a friend of mine last night who lives here, Portuguese, and he says it's much, much needed, all this rain. So there we are. I'm happy then that it's been raining. Under a big bridge? Because it's a bit of a track, isn't it? Oh, here we are, finally getting back on track, if you excuse the pun there. The areas are all open. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. There's a train there. Oh, we got a, a BP ticket thingy here to do. Okay. You have to sort of clock on and clock off, you see, with your ticket, so it knows how far you've gone. It's the rules. They do occasionally do spot checks. It's this one. It's not even got its engine on, so I don't think we need to rush to get on it. It's a case of copy the natives again. They're not panicking, so nor am I. <laughs> it's 3.28 right now. I'm due at where I'm supposed to be at 6.30, so I've got plenty of time for a little mooch and an explore and a bit of food. I'm going to go in here, I think. Whoa, it's closing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to sit here. Oh, look at those clouds. They look kind of rainier than they do on the camera screen right now. I'm going to have a little bit of a snack on these prawny things I bought from Oshan earlier. I'll put that in a Friday shopping vlog on my other channel. They had a bit of a limited selection. 
I don't think it's prawn. I'm pretty sure it's fish, not meat. I had a bit of a moment there. I thought, oh my gosh, if I got meat by mistake. I mean, it won't be the end of the world. It's just the longer you go without eating meat, the more horrific a prospect it is. No, it's definitely fish. Okay, I don't know what I'm eating. Somebody Portuguese will probably say, oh, it's meat. It tastes like fish. Flaky like fish. It's got onion in it, so whoops. just switched sides to show you out of the other window. The last stop was Ishtharil. I don't know which one this is, but we're going along the coast now. You can see the waves crashing over there. I feel we're not far off now. It's nice to see the people having a stroll down there. I'd like to have a stroll down there. Maybe I will. Oh wow, there's all waves crashing up over those steps there. Yeah. yeah, this looks like a terminal station to me. I see trains waiting on the tracks there. Better get myself together then and get off. I was wondering if there might be toilets here. Oh look, there's a thing there, it's a whited out, it's a WC, not there anymore. There's a supermarket here, Pingo Dos. It's handy to know. And a little cafe, very nice. That looks like a toilet there. I'm gonna go and investigate. Because there's no toilets on the train, obviously not on the buses either. It's a long old trip without a loo. Okay, so there was a toilet and I have used it, but it was 50 cents and you have to put your money in. You can use coins. The smallest coin it'll take is a five cent piece, but it does give change and it shows you which coins are available in change as well. It gives you this ticket and uh, anyway, yeah. Give me hands a good wash because they smell of those funny fish bite thingies that I was eating that I'm still not convinced didn't have meat in. I don't know, they were a bit scotch eggy, but they kind of weren't. I was scrutinising the, I don't know, it's not pastry, whatever the outer thing was, and it didn't look meaty, but I don't know, it just had a, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get to the sea. Oh, of course, they yeah, they stop for you, don't they? <laughs> well, I don't know what beach this is, but I'm going on it. Hello, seagull. Oh, bye. Oh, am I freaking you out? Sorry. Oh, this is nice. It's kind of paved. I've been here before, actually. I think it goes along a long, 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 long way, which is good because I fancy that. Nice stroll. Lovely little beach. People are hanging out, drinking. There's a bar there with some music playing. So there's lots of recycling bins on the beach itself, which is also good because it gives people an opportunity to dispose of their rubbish without leaving it everywhere. There's the tsunami evacuation route sign again. A bit scary. Oh, I feel so peaceful and calm right now. So it's very lovely. I see an opportunity to top up my water bottle there. And look, there's foot washers, just in case you've got sandy feet, and showers as well. I'm gonna fill my bottle up anyway. I'm not sure if this is sacrilege or not, but that was actually bottled water. We were given loads of water by our Airbnb host. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that'll keep me going, won't it? Had to pay for the loo, but at least the water's free. On we go then. These succulents remind me of pineapples. They've been cut. Look. Oh, you can see what they would have been like inside. They've dried up on the ends now. Oh, look at the birds pecking away down there. Finding some food in there, I dare say.
Oh wow, look. <laughs> Well, here comes a big one now, look, surging towards the shore. It makes quite a deep noise when it strikes. Oh, there's a tiny little child down there on that beach with his parents. Actually, she's not that tiny, just, it's just far away. <laughs> bit alarming because it's so noisy. Oh, there's a big wave coming now. I wonder if that's going to do a big slapping noise. I hope that little family down there doesn't get a sploshing. Goodness gracious me. Oh, there goes the train. Is the train going back? Fascinating. It's very mesmerising for me to stand and watch these. I'm not walking very fast on this walk. I keep stopping to stare at the waves. Oh, it's wet here. <laughs> That's a, not the best sign, is it? I think I might move. <laughs> move away from the wet patch. I love this little walk. It's lovely because it's just so interesting. Like it's so animated, you know, the sea and fascinating and sort of stimulating visually as you stroll through. And the sun is just beautiful at the moment. It's just lovely and warm. It's actually not windy for a change. Oh, there's a dog there. You can't see it, I don't think, with this camera, but playing games with the waves. I think I used to do that when I was little. And I'm lucky because I've got the sun behind me at the moment, so it's not in my eyes. So coming back is going to be a bit of a different story. It's a kind of, I don't know what you call that, long, it's not a spit, is it? I don't know what it is, but anyway, there's lots of people standing on the end. Perhaps we should go down there and have a look. Woo! Woo! Blimey! It's that dog up too. It's like going up to the waves and then running away when it comes near. Getting a bit digging in the sand now. Dramatic, isn't it? I wonder if it's coming in. It's a huge mound of sand here, I wonder why. I assume it's been done, you know, by a man. Well, not a man, by a human, you know, man as in a human. There are people surfing in the water there, I can see them bobbing about on their boards. I'm not going to go up to the end there because I've got a load of gear in my bag, like flute mic and flute and leads and wires and DI box and all sorts of things that don't want to get wet. So just in case, I'm not going to go up there. It is a bit damp on that walkway. It's fitnessy stuff here to use. I love it in countries where it's normally sunny. I always have bad luck with the weather, but where it's normally sunny, you can have a little workout routine outside communally with other people. I think the good weather encourages communality you know with people being out together just hanging out in the parks and the open spaces I'm walking back the way I came now it's quite a bit of time later I've been having a very long phone call with my daughter so that's why I haven't been filming for a while the sun's going down now I just want a little cheapy cafe I don't want a restaurant somewhere where I can just get a toasty keep me going mm. keeping my eyes out <laughs> I think there might be some just along the end there Hmm, I've it seems like restaurants. But actually where I'm going, and I'm due in about 20 minutes, actually serves food, so maybe I'll just get a toasty or something from there. I think that's what I'm gonna do, because time is running out and I still haven't found anywhere. It's casual food. I could do, and it looks quick. 2 90 for little cheese breads, and uh, that might do, I'll get that in a little coffee. Yeah, it'd be alright, wouldn't it? Yeah, what a funny dinner. I've eaten two already. They're the pal de cajou, it's the cheese bread. The hot, oops, wow. and escaping. <laughs> the doughy inside. Really good. It was 2 90 so for a quick, you know, tied me over meal, it's been quite good. That's one euro, that's an espresso. They didn't have milky ones, which was delicious. Um, I suppose it's a bit like the equivalent of a cone of chips to keep you going, isn't it? Uh -huh. I'm sat here. Sorry, slopping me chops a bit. I've just got back to the apartment. It's actually 11.44 p.m. So by Lisbon standards, this is an early night getting in. I'm absolutely shattered, I've got to be honest. Anyway, had a really, really lovely time playing in the pub. Some of the audience members got very, very, very excited. <laughs> they were doing some wild dancing. Uh, so that was quite enjoyable to watch. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed shortly. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Do feel free to click on that playlist if you'd like to watch any more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video.